So hi everyone, it's Tina Phenomenal Beauty. So today I'm going to be talking about uh, ShopMate. So not just the service, the pricing, but my experience trying it, which has been interesting to say the least. What? But ShopMate, if you haven't heard about it, is uh, a fairly new endeavor with Australia Post. And that's where you can get issued a US postal address. And that way you can shop uh, with US merchants and get items sent to that US postal address and then forwarded on to your address here in Australia. And it's very similar to the... U Shop initiative, which is the New Zealand Post version of ShopMate. Now, before I launch into all the details, I'd like to thank Little Cherry Hill Jewelry for actually telling me about ShopMate. Um, she did a little comment, I think one of my videos about it a couple of months ago, and I was like, oh my gosh, I was pretty excited. I mean, I've tried only two mail forwarding services to get stuff from the US, and that's uh, my US. I think I tried about six times and also Wanted US, which I've tried quite a lot, um, and I prefer Wanted US. Sorry, it might get a little bit noisy with my co-producer, but I actually did a comparison to my US and Wanted US on my blog, so I go over pricing and my personal experiences. I'll link that down below because I don't want to spend too much talking about those in this video. It's obviously focusing on ShopMate. Anyway, the actual details. So. Um, I suppose costing and all that sort of stuff. There is no joining uh, fee and there's no sort of membership or ongoing annual fee, um, which is one great thing. So it's really quick to sign up. Just go to the website, ShopMate. I'll link that down below. And I'm not affiliated with any of the company I'm talking about. But you go there. Um, once you create your account, you get your US postal address. And it's really quick to get that. So um, it's very similar to one at US. Same thing. Go to that website. As soon as you create your account, bang, you've got that US postal address and you can start using it. Uh, there's also a bundling discount. This can be like you might end up going, oh, I want to get something from Sephora and say Target US. So you've got a couple of parcels coming in. They'll come in to the ShopMate Center, get processed, and then you'll pay the full price for that first parcel. But any additional parcels that you're paying for that come into the warehouse on that day and get sent out, you can get $10 off of those additional parcels. Um, you think, oh, hold on, what about... What about um, consolidation then? Because that's a big thing a lot of mail forwarders offer is um, even if it's through different merchants, you can get all of those boxes consolidated into one box. That of course you're cutting down the cost because you're only paying for one parcel. My US definitely offer it. A lot of uh, mail forwarders offer it. Um, want it US, offer it and that's $7.50 and that could be multiple. You could have three, four, five par parcels going into one box. It's just that $7.50 fee. But ShopMate do not do that. They do not offer consolidation. You can't get all of those parcels put into one box. Like they said, oh, but we offer the bundling discount. Well, that's no good to me if I'm ordering something. I mean, my merchant might say, I don't know, say I've ordered a pen and like, two pens. It's an example. They're quite light. My merchant sends them out separately because of the stock. So that means I've got two parcels now I've got to pay for instead of just the one parcel. If I get $10 off that second one, I'm still having to pay for two things. So what are the, what's the pricing then? So there's a base rate and it's $24.95. So it doesn't matter how small or how big that parcel, it's going to be $24.95 base. So I might have had those two little things split, still going to be $24.95, $24.95 minimum. Then on top of that, you go by the weight. So it's 500 gram in increments and it's a $5.95 for a shop mate. So $24.95 plus whatever that is broken down to. Say this is 100 grams, so you're still gonna look at 595 for that. Uh, then there's what they call volume or cubic weight. Whatever costs more, you're gonna pay that higher price. But pretty much, you know, that just gives you an average what it's gonna be around about. Merchant, I placed two orders with exactly the same merchant, but because of the stock, I didn't realize they were gonna send it out separately. Um, the stock levels, I got four parcels. So can you imagine, one, two, three, four, times $24.95 plus all of the extra stuff. But they do offer repacking. Like some companies do it for free anyway because they're going to open the parcel and check it. But um, Australia Post ShopMate uh, charge $5 for that repack. Now you, you're probably saying, why am I telling you, why do I keep mentioning you shop for? It's, this, it's the New Zealand one. What has it got to do with um, Australia? What? The um, actual address as shopmate so they, they go to the same place there might be a separate dock so i assume that would probably make things a little bit easier but that's sort of why when i started to realize the big delays i knew because it was christmas they were going to be delays and i thought because of the special that they had going probably more people were going to be encouraged to try it but then it started to make sense because there's i don't know what volume or what amount of parcels are going to be going through that service 
so it makes sense too why there is no direct email or contact with the actual company the only difference is the suite number so for shopmate you get sm for shopmate then your suite number for the u shop which is the new zealand version that you get nz and then the suite number but everything else is exactly the same the same phone number the same postcode the same site address anyway i just thought i'd mention it i know some people from new zealand watch watch here too or sort of worldwide and it's always interesting just to see it's all it's all relative of course but so we were paying 24.95 for um say that base rate of the parcel it's 12.50 New Zealand dollars, twelve dollars fifty, about to twenty four ninety five Australian. Like I said, I ended up getting my two orders from the same merchant, Toys R Us, and what? In deform packages. And you think Toys R Us? They're not. It's not makeup or um, you know beauty related. It's from my other channel, Collect T Together. Um, I wanted to try the toys for one reason is I couldn't get the stuff here in Australia for the channel but also I wanted to test it out I wasn't willing to pay hundreds of dollars in uh, fairly breakable makeup if I wasn't quite sure of it yet which sounds silly I, I obviously went ahead and tried it with my US and my US but I just thought I'd, I'd just play it safe for that first order because they were fairly low priced items in the scheme of things and I thought oh I could at least get that discount so even though I placed my orders um, the first week of December and the second week of December. I ended up getting three parcels out of the four delivered on the 12th of December. That's okay. And then I got one on the 18th of December. And, and I had that all verified to the dock at Shopmate, right address, the time I could see, could see who signed it through UPS. Uh, for that parcel that got received on the 12th, um, even though they said there was a delay from one to two days of processing and then it also said wait three days before you contact, that didn't get um, lodged until I think the 19th and the 20th. The yeah, 19th. <laughs> Took all that time, but like I said, it's quite a busy time. There's, but also I had the tragic thing that I did, well, even though I did, I really double checked when I've created my account, had the correct suite number and all those details. I know that because I've done that with my US and one at US, double double check it because it's got to go to that right suite number. Mm -hmm. Was correct. Got my confirmation for both of those orders and it was going to be delivered to, again, the correct address, correct suite number. But somehow when the, I don't know, went to fulfillment center for the orders to be processed, they cut off three digits from the suite number. I realized this um, just before the um, two of those parcels got logged. So in that time, I'm like, oh my God. I went through um, Twitter Australia Post because I couldn't actually see an email address. I didn't learn it later on. The email address is shopmate at Australia Post in Australia, but there's no direct contact with the warehouse overseas or that US. Um, I sort of panicked, but like I said, two came through. It's through my same name, which is actually quite a unique surname. It's hyphened. Um, got there um, and like I said it's through the same merchant everything was the same but still two parcels were missing so I thought oh that's okay I mean I got two two from the 12th but what I couldn't understand is that um, one of them even though it had the same ear on the pa package still had the same name it was signed by the same person at the same time from the same day but it just disappeared it went into la la land in that time though I've gotten those two parcels let me just talk about that first. I got those two parcels, paid for them on the 22nd of December. They say it takes about five to eight days for it to get delivered, which is, it came in that time, so that was great. The shipping manifesto was sort of logged to be shipped out on the 23rd to the day after. I thought that was good. It arrived in Australia on the 28th of December, and then it went out for delivery on the 29th. So that was, it was, it was fairly quick from that, like from getting pay, making the payment and then getting it over here. It's delivered by Star Trek Express. Money, I'll put the amount here. I think I was over $70 I paid for the two parcels. Uh, fairly light parcels, but I actually saved $30 from that. That's because I got the 25% off and I got the bundling discount. So for the second parcel, I got $10 off. Um, if I had the other two parcels, I would have got you know $10 off those as well. But anyways. Okay, now forgive my messy table background, but I really just wanted to show you what the two parcels were like on the day that I picked them up from the post office. The one on the right is the original merchant box that Shopmate Warehouse has taped up, but the one I'm showing there on the left has been repacked. You can see uh, there's gaps in it, that sign has collapsed because what they actually mean by repack is that they cut down 
the merchant's box so they're not adding additional packaging um, like something like we want it us would do with tissue paper or putting it to a different box it's just a cut down service it is cost effective though so i saved quite a bit of money which i'll show you at the end uh, what you can potentially save by that five dollar service but as i was carrying it home from the post office that end i'm showing there actually uh, opened now the tape didn't look like it had been cut it just looked like it had been under a bit of stress and then popped open as i was carrying it but nothing was damaged it was just toys but assumably the merchant would include additional packaging if it was a delicate item and hopefully shopmate uh, would leave that on um, as far as the repack now the courier was star trek express uh, they didn't attempt delivery to the door even though it was stated that they did but they put the slip in the letterbox and um, i went up to pick it from the post office at that point i still had two parcels missing so i did email shopmate um, and straight post um, they just thought all they could do was really forward it on. There was a delay from them getting back to me, but all they could do was forward it on. But it was funny because I got the, the reply back on the 6th of January. Then uh, a day and a half later, I got one lodged. So the one that was missing from the 12th of December, it just turned up on the 8th of January. So it's been lodged. I've just got to pay for it. But it's just funny because I miss out on that special and I don't get a bundling discount because I had another one delivered on the 18th of December, that's still missing, so I might wait, I'll use that free storage, I get 59 days of free storage, hopefully that will turn up and I can get them sent out together, so I'll wait a couple of weeks. I just wanted to use an example to show you what it looks like. You've got four tabs at the top and under my shopping is where you actually see when your parcels are coming and the details regarding the weight, any repacking that was done and the costing. Let's look at the costs in more detail. If you look to the left of the screen, I've got this one parcel here with a toy in it and it's 0.7 kilos actual weight. Under that, um, it looks like it's been repacked and that would be a charge of $5. I've opened that up and it's actually telling me what costs or what I've actually saved. So before the repack, the volume weight would have been 4.8 kilos I would have been charged at and that would have cost me over $59. After the repack, they're only gonna charge me for 1.8 kilos because that volume or cubic weight is gonna cost more than the actual weight of 0.7 kilos. So I'm gonna be charged $23.80 for the weight plus the $5 repack plus the $24.95 for the base rate of the parcel which is going to be a total of over $53 um, and that's without extra cover. But before you can pay for the parcels, you do need to declare the items, which is fairly standard with mail folders or international packages. So I've just clicked plastic toys and also the monetary value. For this one, it was $12.99 USD. Once you've done that, you can go to the second tab, which is my tracking, and obviously see what stage your parcels are at or where they are. You can also go back and check any invoices for past payments. And from here, it'll actually link into my deliveries with your Australia Post customer number. This is where you can actually uh, create your watch list of um, active parcels or where ones that are coming in through ShopMade or overseas, as well as domestic parcels. You can also keep a log of all of them through um, that second line there, which is delivered parcels, and that way you just see all of your past deliveries. In closing, uh, I do like the ShopMate service. It's great to see that Australia Post have jumped on board to be able to offer us US postal addresses. I do hope they follow you shop example which is having a warehouse in europe and china so we can also have addresses for shopping over there that would be awesome uh, they don't offer personal shopping service um, a lot of mouth orders do my us and one at us do which are the ones i've tried uh, I, I do find it a big shame though that they don't offer consolidation. I know I've gone on about the bundling discount and the repack, but I think sometimes for lighter items it would be much wor be worth having them in one box where you actually get a very similar volume weight uh, and obviously not having to pay that $24.95 for something that's fairly light. And of course, if you are getting something that's quite delicate or quite high monetary value it's worth opting in for extra cover anyway at risk of sounding like a paid advertisement i probably prefer one at us for my cosmetics i am not sponsored or affiliated with them but you can read more about it on my blog post which i'll link below but please use the comment section down below to give us some feedback on the mail folders you've tried or if you've tried shopmate or you shop please let me know and thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it take care